who clicked on this video, congratulations. Now I'm going to give you what you want. How to make chicken keeping way more enjoyable than it might already be. Let's get into it. The first one of my recommendations is to, well, hang out with your chickens more often. You might think chickens are just boring, but if you are actually around them for long enough, you'll get a chicken like this, who just can't stop being near you. Those are what I like to call loveys, because lovey, my chicken, was one of the first chickens to do that, and one of the most notable. This is lovey right here. And well, what do you know? So, just hanging out with them will build a trust. We'll build trust between you two chickens and human, and well, before you know it, you'll be trusted amongst your chicken flock. So best thing you should do, easy, just, just try making friends with chickens. I mean, it's not actually as hard as it seems. All you need is a few minutes of each day, some treats, and well, just go out there and feed them. Number two, giving them treats every morning. It's not as hard as it actually sounds. All you really need to do is get out a cutting board and cut up some lettuce every morning. It's not really all that hard, and you could probably do it within like 30 seconds. My record speedrun is 42 seconds. You could probably do better than me because I'm lazy and slow. But what really makes this special is their reaction to feed. You know, when you like go around in the morning and you spring hood around the yard, they'll follow you. And this is actually another easy way to, you know, get their uh, trust and um, a relationship with chickens. It's much easier to do that and just like going up to them every morning, but that's the classical way of doing it. So I might suggest just, you know, like, feeding them treats every morning. It, it's really enjoyable, the reactions are really funny, and they'll trust you in no time. And they'll, they'll know you as the treat person, so try to give them treats every morning, or maybe even twice a day, in some circumstances. Finally, if there's way too much stress, and it's like stress of keeping chickens and it's not really enjoying it, here are a few things you can do to minimize the stress. Number one, get an automatic coop door. These close at sunset and it's dusk right now. And I'm finally not using overlay footage for once. And um, the chickens, they go through this every morning. It automatically opens and automatically closes. All you really need to do is just make a quick head count and well, at night. And then during the morning, that's one less thing you, can, you have to do. But I really do enjoy the classical way. And I don't really like how technology is evading us. Literally, we're, we're all going to be screwed over. There's probably going to be robots by 2400, I mean 2040, that can um, do the chickens in the morning. We just have to wait for that. I'm waiting for that. I'll probably be the first to test it out to get 20 views on this channel, so subscribe for that. But still, minimizing that is an easy way. You can also get these long feeders, so that way um, the chickens, um, they don't go through their feed quicker. And that way, like, it takes much longer, and that and that way you don't have to, like, go through it much more often. And remember in, um, Saturday's video, I might have saw uh, these heavy-duty waterers. They can hold much more water than a $3 one, and these are only, like, $8, $9. So, you can use those, and all you have to do is fill them up once a day, and you can even do it at night before you put them away, too. Just remember to take them in at night if it's going to be, you know, like, below freezing. And you might also want heated waterers in the winter, so you don't have to be breaking ice every morning. And a bonus tip is to implement something of your own kind. So let's just say none of this works. I bet you can think of something way more creative than I do. I mean, I literally wrote a book about my chickens, how to raise them. I have a whole YouTube channel about them. So as you can see, clearly I am trying my best to. Do you really need me to edit more? I, I really do, anyway. So yeah, I... I actually created this channel out of boredom, actually, and it's a really simple way, like, you can, like, get, like, a little personality out of your chickens and stuff like that, and chickens are really cute, and I don't know why you might get bored of them, but you can create a, think of your own creative way to stop getting bored of them, and yes, my rooster doesn't know how to shut up when he's supposed to, so now I have to edit more and more, so thank you for watching, consider subscribing, 150 before June 1st, I bet we can do it. Subscribe to see you next video.